Welcome to Doron Yoga, everyone. Ready for a little short practice that covers everything in it nice and tight. We'll keep it balanced. We'll keep it flowing with breath and with smiles. Let's go. Coming to the hands and knees. Starting right away with moving the hips in circles. See if as you move the hips, you can start to find awareness of breath. Going in the opposite direction. It's like really like somebody's pouring some nice extra virgin olive oil through your lower back and you're warming it up. You're warming up the hips. You hear your breath. And come back to neutral. Keep the hips over the knees. Walk the hands forward. Slowly lowering down. Head is close to the ground or to the ground. If all that's easy, bring the chin down. Slowly, hands on the mat, downward dog. I'll be giving options throughout the class. Please always take the option that feels appropriate for you. Bending in the knees a little bit. If downward dog is too challenging, just take the legs a little wider or a little closer to the hand. If it's easy, keep the legs back. I'm going to take the right leg up to the sky, bend the right knee, open the hips, take a few ankle rotations, both directions, straightening the right leg behind you as you exhale, bring the knee to the nose, inhale back, exhale right knee across towards the left elbow, inhale back, exhale right knee over towards right elbow, inhale back. And bring the right foot forward between the hands. Lower the left knee down. You can either keep the hands down on the mat. If it's easy enough, bring the hands up to the knee. Open the chest or even bring them to the hips for a little more intensity. Returning to breath. Eyes are soft. Slowly watching the hands as they come down to the ground. Take the right foot back. If you don't need the knees, go to plank. Otherwise, stay with knees down. Begin to bend the elbows lower, chaturanga. Just lower as much as is reasonable for you. Inhale, a little baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, left leg up. Bending the knee, opening the hips. A few ankle rotations. And to the other direction. Straightening the left leg. As you exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Inhale back. Exhale, left knee across to the right. Inhale back. Exhale, left knee over to the left side. Inhale back. And look forward. Bring the left foot between the hands. Lower the right knee down. Hands can be on the mat or at the hips. A few breaths. So that we're focused, our eyes are at one spot. They're also relaxing, softening, and going even wider. So they're focused, but they're not zooming in too much. Belly lifts a little bit, our Uddiyana Bandha, pelvic floor lifts. Mula Bandha. Watch the hands, take them down to the mat. Take, take the left foot back. Again, with or without the knees, lower chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra or upward dog. Always your choice. Downward facing dog. A few breaths. Walking the feet to the front. Elongate the spine. And then exhale, forward fold. Bending the knees, utkatasana, chair pose. If you'd like, try to take the heels up. A few extra breaths here. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, either step or you can jump back. Lower down to your chaturanga. Knees are fine. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. 
Bring the right foot forward between the hands. Lower the left heel down. Slowly coming up, warrior one. Bring the right arm underneath the left arm. Eagle arms. Sinking in and opening our heart. Going into a little bit of a back bend. Inhale, back up to the warrior. Exhale slowly, hands to the heart. Right foot moves to the right. And we're going to come down, hands to the ground, left knee down for a little bit of lizard pose. Staying here or maybe using your blocks to lowering down to the forearm. If that's not needed, lower down to the ground. Optional, open the right knee to the right side, come to the edge, to the blade of the right foot. Get a little more juice by moving the weight to the right side. Another five breaths. Beautiful. Coming back to your hands. Step the right foot back. Taking a vinyasa, lower down. Inhale, pulling the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Stepping the left foot forward, the right heel down. Reach the arms, coming up, warrior. Left arm underneath the right. Sink. A little back bend. Inhale, back up. Exhale, watch the hands as they come to the heart, training the mind for steadiness. Left foot to the left, hands down. Right knee lowers down. Again, it's okay lowering on blocks or to the ground. Notice that as I open the foot out, the knee goes out. But if it's too much on the knee, you can keep the foot down, knee up. Really do what's right for you today. Once you're in the pose, relax completely the eyes, the shoulders, the face. Simply focus on the deep exhales. That's all we're doing today. Allowing everything to surrender. A couple more deep breaths. Nice one. Slowly, hands down. Step it back. And vinyasa. Stay warm to build strength. Two breaths in downward dog. Right foot forward. Slowly coming up to warrior one. Look at your right hand. Slow motion. Open warrior two. Reach forward, reverse the warrior. Slow and steady movements. Back to the warrior two. Straightening the front leg. Reaching far forward for triangle pose. Left arm up, right hand down. Try to keep the right knee micro bending. Doesn't matter if you're way up or lowering down or even if the hand reaches the ground. Fantastic. Inhale, coming back up to the warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Take it back. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do the left side, left foot forward, right heel down. Inhale as you come up, warrior one. Exhale as you open, warrior two. Try to keep the left knee moving to the left. Reach forward, reverse. Back to the warrior two, straightening the front leg, reaching forward, triangle pose. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. 
Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, step it back, lowering to your chaturanga. Upward facing, downward facing. Anytime we take vinyasas, use the knees, even if you just simply got tired. Walk the feet to the front. Take the feet hip width apart. Tuck the belly in and up. Forward fold. Maybe hold the elbows. Feel free to bend the knees if it's a bit intense on the hamstrings. Head and neck are completely relaxed. Simply staying here and breathing. Release the hands, bend the knees, rolling slowly up to standing. Great. We're going to open whatever foot, right foot in my case. Just a wide stance, not too wide. Feet are parallel. Lengthen. Clasp your hands behind the back. If it's a bit tight on the shoulders, you can hold a strap or a belt or a shirt. Inhale, create length. And exhale as you forward fold. Relax the head and allow the arms to come over the head. Keeping the breath alive. Allow the hands to come down to the ground. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Bring the left hand to the center. Right arm up to the sky. And either way, whatever arm you did is great. Just two breaths here. And then switch it up. Both hands down. Create length in the spine. Tuck the belly. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips. You can bend the knees. Inhale, rise all the way up. Let's come back to the front of the mat. Last standing pose. We'll take the hands behind the back. Either reverse namaste or holding the elbows. Step the right foot back. Adjust the hips to the front. Lengthen. And from there, forward fold. Three. Waking up our hamstrings. If this is too much to balance, you can have the hands on the mat or on blocks. That's fine too. Inhale, rise, coming up. Simply turn to the opposite side or switch legs. Lengthen and exhale, forward fold. Try to lift the elbows a bit higher in case you have the reverse namaste. Bring the palms a little closer together. Inhale, rise up, release. Okay, shake it all the way. Beautiful. Let's come down to a seat. So lifting up, the, bending in the knees, maybe lifting the heels. Slowly, slowly lowering down. Slowly, 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 slowly. Good. Finding your seat for a moment. Shake your legs. We're going to go all the way to our backs. So we're going to keep going, keep going, keep going. Reaching down. Great. I'm going to take the right ankle over the left thigh and work on bringing the thigh in. Thread the needle. Option one, if you can, reach and hold the shin. Just bring it close to the chest. If that's too much, you can just hold behind the thigh. For those that this is way too easy, you can use even the elbow to press the knee away. If you have any knee issue, knee injury, flex the foot. Either way, it's a good thing to do. It'll help protect the knee as you stretch the hip. Few more breaths, really staying with the breath. Nice. Let's switch sides, please. And I'm flexing my foot, relaxing the shoulders, the head, the neck. I even close my eyes just to dive really deep into the breath, into a sense of space. Nothing else exists. 
Just your body right now stretching your breath. The intensity remains in the hips. Don't let it go up to your mind. Beautiful release. Place the feet down. Shake the knees a bit from side to side. Okay. We're going to go for a few back bends. So keeping the feet moving in, the heels out. Begin to lift up the hips. Move the knees forward and the chest towards the chin. Notice I'm rolling my shoulders under. Option one, just staying here in bridge. Beautiful place. You can keep pressing the legs, lifting the hips. We'll do about two or three of these so you can stay here. Some of you that are feeling ready for it, hands by the ears, elbows in. Try to lift up to your full upward bow. Sometimes people call it wheel. doesn't matter. As long as you're practicing, that's the only thing that makes a difference. Breathing here. If you're in bridge, you can stay up. If you're in the Upward bow, you can lower down, take two breaths, come up. Or if you can, lower to the head, walk the hands, lift back up. This may be too much for some of us, so really see what is appropriate for you. When you need to, you come down, take a moment break. You can move the knees from side to side as in windshield wipers. Last one, come back up to the full upward bow or lift back up to the bridge. For those that want a little extra, you're welcome to take one leg up. Keep pressing the other leg so the hips still lift. You may even feel it in your quads. Switch. Lower down, release the hands, lower all the way down. You can bring the knees to the chest. We'll take a little twist on the back because usually it feels so good. Moving the hips to the right and then taking the knees over to the left. The knees can be together or a little more challenge. Wrap the right leg over the left. Taking the knees over to the left and then work on opening the right shoulder as much as you can to the right. Lift the chest, relax the right shoulder. Breathing here. If you want, you can close the eyes and just every exhale, feel the right shoulder release even more, even more. Slowly legs up. If you've got them crossed, eagle-legged. Release. Move the hips again to the opposite side. And then from there, the legs can go and wrap. And then slowly take them down or unwrap just both legs together. The head always goes to the opposite side of the legs. This helps us create a full twist all the way from the cervical spine through the thoracic down to the lumbar. Every exhale, the legs surrender. Every exhale, the shoulder, if you want, you can place a hand on the knee to help it go down. Softness. Ease. Mm -hmm. 
slowly make your way back up. I'm going to hug the knees to the chest, roll a few times to make our way up to sit. Once you're up to sit, take the feet together, knees to the side. One more hip, lots of hips today. Here. How about I face you guys? You can face any way you like. If as you're forward folding, you find yourself in a deep slumpasana, sit on a block. This will really make a difference for a lot of us. We'll be able to come down with a longer spine. Keep the feet opening as far forward as feels reasonable for you. Head, neck, shoulders, all relaxed. Eyes are soft. Slowly coming up. So again, most of you will stay on the block. We're going to extend the left leg. Keep the hips as square as can be. Lengthen and forward fold. So again, a little challenge on the lower back. Sit on a block. Too much on the hamstrings. Bend the straight leg. Wherever you are is great. Every inhale helps you elongate. Every exhale allows you to surrender. Couple more breaths, stay with the breath, stay present. Slowly start to come up, switching legs. Creating the space, and begin to forward fold. Inhale, helps you create length in the spine. Exhale, surrender. Inhale, belly lifts in and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, pelvic floor slightly lifted. Exhale, surrender. slowly coming up. We'll just do a few breaths with both legs forward. So, taking both legs in front of you. Paschimottanasana. Same thing. Block. Bending the knees. All good. Inhale. Lengthening. Pulling the chest through. Exhale. Surrender. If there's room. Inhale. Lengthen. Walk a bit forward. Exhale. Release. One more breath. Inhale, slowly coming up. So we're going to close the class with a combination of Shavasana inversion to make it as efficient as can be. You're welcome if you have time, take shoulder stand and then Shavasana. Otherwise, I'm going to take a block underneath my lower back. Even a pillow can work. And I'm going to take my legs up. And just try to really find the sense of softening here. So there's not a lot of effort. I'm just relaxing completely. Hands can be belly and chest or by the side. Whatever feels good for you. Still allowing the blood flow to reverse a bit from the feet. Eyes are closed. Jaw is relaxed. Shoulders melting down. Mind is disappearing. Lowering the feet down. Removing the block. 
setting up for Shabasana, complete surrender, nothing else to do. Short Shabasana, so dive right in. Space. Slowly bring the knees up, roll on to your right side, you can place your head on the right arm. Pressing up to your seat, any reasonable comfortable seat, close your eyes. Still noticing the breath, maybe some clarity in the mind. A moment of gratitude, palms at the heart. And if this is morning, maybe setting an intention for the rest of your day. How will you stay calm, focused, present? Softly opening the eyes. Thank you all so much for your practice. Please, please leave us a comment. Let us know. Do you enjoy it? What works? What would you like to see more? And share it with people. This is great. Sharing the love is good karma. Thank you and see you soon. Namaste.